Hello Troops! So um, I'm about to do a planned high laser reversal of a dermal filler treatment that someone's reacted to. So I thought I'd show you the dilution if you are managing a reversal of a treatment rather than an emergency necrosis situation which is a different situation and obviously the dilution with that is different. So this is planned reversal of a dermal filler treatment. So you need your bacteriostatic saline and an unopened one so there's 30 mils in that and you need your hyalase vial, which is 1500 international units in it. And I'll talk you through what I'm going to do. Just take the cap off, stir at the top, and we would need, actually that's a 2.5, we want a five mil syringe. Blue needle. And I basically want to take 15 mils out of this bottle. So very simply, I'm drawing five mils up three times over and then discarding it. Apologies, I can't do this any quicker for the video. And just basically down the sink. The aim is that after I've discarded 15 mils, I've got exactly 15 millilitres left in the saline bottle. Once more. So remember with hyalase, once you put the hyalase into the area that you're wanting to dissolve the filler, you may feel an initial softening, but you might not um, notice or any, anything major. Most of the change happens in the first 24 hours, and the hyalase will keep dissolving the product away for a couple of weeks, so you don't want to repeat a dermal filler treatment for at least two weeks afterwards. Okay, now, I don't like these glass vials, so I always tend to protect myself with either a bit of gauze or a bit of tissue and you'll find that there's a little dot on the hyalase vial which is where you want to be applying pressure to break the vial. Okay. So my vial is now open. Of the 15 mils that I've got in the bottle, I'll now withdraw up just one mil And I'll add that to the vial of hyalase. Just make sure the powder is all dissolved, which it has. And then suck all of that solution back up and add it to your bottle of saline. So that's now nice and empty. So essentially, in this bottle, I have 1500 international units of hyalase to 15 mils of bacteriostatic saline. And then the usual advice is if you want to dissolve a milliliter of product, you'll now draw a milliliter of that product up. If you're dissolving two milliliters of dermal filler, you'll draw two milliliters of that product up. And you'll inject it in the areas that you want to do the removal of the filler. But before doing that, you want to do a little test patch on the forearm of your client just to make sure there's no immediate reaction to higher layers. If they don't have any immediate reaction, you can go ahead and do your procedure. Okay, that's it.